Well, joining us to discuss today's commemoration of the World Sickle Cell Day and the search for management as well as treatment is Dr. Shota Omoigui of Pioneer Oxygen Therapy. He's joining us via Zoom from California. He's also the medical director of the LA Pain Clinic in Hassan, California, and has served as an advisor to the United States FDA Advisory Committee on Anesthetics and Life Support Devices. Thank you so much, Doctor, for joining us on the news tonight. You're welcome. And Great. So, all uh, viewers. Thank you. I mean, try, try to tell us about your therapy in that report. We also had uh, sickle cell warriors who have benefited from it. But as the pioneer, explain it to us. What exactly is this oxygen therapy shift? And how does home oxygen therapy change the outcome for patients? Okay, I think the proper word is as the discoverer of this, um, of this uh, revolutionary discovery. Sickle cell, the recorded history of sickle cell goes back 7,300 years. And for 7,300 years, there has been no solution. And what I've come to do is to bring the first solution to prevent and stop a sickle cell crisis in the golden half hour. And this all based on science. I'm uh, a translational researcher. Uh, what I do is go into the existing literature, just like a jigsaw puzzle, take the different pieces, put them together and build a, and, and essentially create a novel uh, clinical uh, application. So um, the key part, I did this in my theory of pain. Uh, uh, pain from when you have a cut in your finger to when you feel pain in your brain. Uh, human beings have tried to explain that for three, since mankind has been on earth for 300,000 years. And there have been different theories from Plato in 400 BC to uh, Descartes in 1644 to Melzack and Wall in 1965, and none of their theories withstood the test of time. So I came to explain that with my theory of uh, inflammation and the inflammatory response in 2002. And I also predicted the inflammatory chemical that will be responsible for migraine. And 17 years later, the first drugs to treat migraine, blocking that chemical called CGRP, were approved by the FDA. So I applied the same technique to sickle cell. And what was just interesting was that the initial aspect of the crisis is reversible with reoxygenation. Uh, first of all, the uh, history of sickle cell, sickle cell was first identified in 1910 by Herrick. And then in 1927, Hanan and Gillespie suggested that hypoxia or a low oxygen environment caused the cycling of red blood cells. And three years later, Spriva and Wow in Canada reported that the number of sickle cells in the blood may be varied by the change of the partial oxygen pressure. And that this was a reversible reaction. And that was the whole key to the discovery that the initial phase of cycling is reversible with reoxygenation. And then other researchers followed. In 1983, Frank and Chu stated that the oxygenated reversible sickle cells had the ability to get back to their normal shape upon reoxygenation. Right. Again, 1991, Robert Hedl said so that the damage to the cell membrane was initially reversible with reoxygenation. So all these researchers had put this in the literature. Even in 2015, Melanie Gonick in MIT published a video, it's on YouTube, it's called In Predicting Behavior of Sickle Cells. And this was being used to analyze the development of, uh, of uh, anti-cycling drugs like antiuria like right. hydroxyurea. 
Okay, uh, Dr. Omoigui, if you can hear me, if I can come in here, unfortunately we don't have all day. Uh, I mean, this is an amazing breakthrough, definitely. But, um, I mean, tell us about this oxygenation. I mean, how is it different from the regular uh, oxygen that we all breathe in? I mean, for a lay person like myself, we're wondering, oxygenation, what exactly does that mean? And how is this, I mean, number one, is it a treatment or a cure? And how is it different from gene therapy and, of course, bone marrow transplant? Okay, first of all, as you were talking to me, you are breathing in oxygen, okay? And what is air? Air is made of 21% oxygen, nitrogen of 78% uh, and 1% rare gases. That was a major discovery by itself. Um, but well, when you're using an oxygen concentrator, which is a machine that is almost like a mini oxygen plant, it takes in air, removes nitrogen, produces oxygen. When you're using a nasal cannula at one liter per minute, instead of 21% oxygen, you are inhaling 24% oxygen. At 2% uh, liters per minute, you are inhaling 28%. So just a little bit. And this oxygen is no different from the oxygen you get in the hospital. The only difference is that by the time the patients get to the hospital, the reversible sickling has progressed to irreversible sickling with cell damage, and the oxygen no longer works. And that is why sickle cell disease confounded modern medicine for more than 100 years, because doctors in the hospital said, my goodness, the oxygen is not working. But you had to go back to 100 years of science to understand that. In the initial 30 minutes, which we found based on our clinical experience over the last 20 years at the Elephant Clinic, it's reversible. So you provide oxygen by an oxygen cylinder, an oxygen concentrator, and you can stop the crisis. And we've had so many case reports since I announced my discovery on July 4, 2024, I stated, let oxygen be your medicine. Mm. So we had more than, we have up to 100 patients now on oxygen cylinders, oxygen concentrators. You can go on our website, sicklecelldiscovery.com, and mm. you can see all the testimonies. People are saying, this is a miracle. Fantastic. Of them. And fantastic. Mm. You call the first uh, reversible half hour, golden half yes. hour. But let me yes. ask you, Nigeria uh, has the largest sickle cell burden globally. Do you think this is something we can mainstream here? And I mean, what would be your call today as, it, as the country joins the world to observe this day? Uh, yes, I can tell you, in, uh, there was a study which showed that in 2016, the United States spent $811 million treating sickle cell painful crisis complications in the hospital. You can imagine dropping that by 90%. So the same thing, there's an economic impact here of changing the paradigm. So what I've come to do is to disrupt the paradigm from people waiting to get into a sickle cell crisis and going into the hospital and being there for days, getting blood transfusions, getting complications, acute chest syndrome, um, 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 avascular necrosis, all the terrible complications of sickle cell that arise from the crisis to preventing 90% of those crises. So there'll be, apart from the preventing pain and suffering, there's an economic impact to the patient, to the family, to the society, and to the nation. Always remember that a sickle cell crisis is not just a disease of the patient, it's a disease of the family. The mother doesn't go to the market, the father doesn't go to work. They are incurring medical bills. And all of this can just be reduced by 90%. So talking about this, I've been, I've been working with, um, and I can uh, I'll mention a few names, Professor Adenike Grinch, retired federal minister, minister of health. So He's been a big advocate of my discovery. Mm -hmm. And other doctors, some of them you saw on the video, uh, Dr. Ngozi Onya, Dr. Ernest Onogu, Professor Kolade, University of Lori, Dr. Aneta Kinjete, uh, Director of Civil Cell Foundation, Dr. Tunde Fakunle. Um, so, so, 
And then recently, we've been joined by Honorable uh, Tolu Sadiqbe of the National Assembly, who is trying to push legislation to essentially provide this oxygen. And uh, the smallest oxygen cylinder is 100,000 naira. Oh, wow. A hospital That's card sad. alone is 100,000 naira. Hmm. I mean, it because sounds uh, yeah. very, very, I mean, like, uh, truly, it, it is a breakthrough and music to the ears, especially when you compare with gene therapy, uh, bone marrow transplant that do come at a huge uh, cost. Uh, of course, 50 million Nigerians uh, have sickle cell uh, in this country. Uh, thank you so much for your work. Uh, but very quickly, I want to ask, are there any side effects to this uh, oxygen in the golden half? And is, is it every sickle cell uh, carrier that can actually benefit from this treatment? Or are there exemptions? No, not a carrier. You mean a patient, somebody with a full sickle cell. Um, no, actually there was a study by Legono et al. Um, um, whereby they used um, oxygen for patients, children from 5 to 15 for five years, and they found no, no side effects. And this is what I say. Um, I compared my discovery to the discovery of insulin for diabetes. Um, in, in 1921, Banting and Best isolated insulin. Before the isolation, in, uh, diabetes was a uniformly fatal disease, killing people at the age of 20 to 30. With insulin, it became a manageable disease. So with my discovery with home oxygen in the golden half hour, Sickle cell is now a manageable disease. They don't need to be called warriors anymore. They are no different from diabetes. And I, I, I'll let you remind you, we don't cure high blood pressure. We manage it. Right. We don't cure diabetes. We manage it. Mm -hmm. So for the first time in history, we are going to be able to manage sickle cell. They're going to be able to live normal lives. All they need to do is whenever they don't feel well, sleep with oxygen. Now, I also want to mention a couple of points. Yes, very quickly. Very quickly. Yeah, the most dangerous time for a crisis is during sleep. This is what, because we call that a phenomenon of nocturnal hyperventilation. Now, most people with a normal hemoglobin, sleep is restful for them. But in patients, everybody has some shallow breathing during sleep. But in patients with sickle cell, Sleep is dangerous because the shallow breathing causes a low oxygen environment and brings them at risk of a crisis. So we advise that if there are any daytime stressors, and, and physical, environmental, physiological, mm. intellectual, studying, for example, just sleep with oxygen. Okay. And you'll never wake up in a crisis. Another um, okay. dangerous place is air travel. Yes, wow. because of the I've air pressure. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dr. Shota Omoegi. And we do thank you for the work you're doing, the discovery of the oxygen therapy. Uh, your website, again, is sicklecelldiscovery.com, uh, I believe it is. People yes, can, correct. People can go, there to find, great, can go there to find out more information. But well, we must thank you for being on Newsnight tonight. We do appreciate your time.